This is a timeline of the United Kingdom home front during World War II covering Britain 1939–45. For a brief narrative see United Kingdom home front during World War II, as well as History of Scotland Hashtag Second World War 1939–45 and History of Northern Ireland Hashtag Second World War. For the military story see Military History of the United Kingdom during World War II for Foreign Affairs, Diplomatic History of World War II. For the government see Timeline of the First Premiership of Winston Churchill. For a narrative history and bibliography of the Home Front see United Kingdom Home Front during World War II. 1939 The 3rd of June 1939 The Military Training Act, Britain's first peacetime draft, comes into force. All men aged 20 to 21 are now liable to call up for four years military service as militiamen. 24 August 1939 Given the worsening situation in Europe, Parliament is recalled and immediately enacts the Emergency Powers Defense Act 1939, granting the government special legislative powers for the duration of the crisis. Army reservists are called up. Civil defense workers are put on alert. The 25th of August 1939. The National Defense Companies, a voluntary reserve force of former servicemen, are mobilized to protect vulnerable points. Point three zero August 1939. The fleet proceeds to its war stations. The Royal Navy is much stronger than Germany's. It has eight battleships versus zero for Germany, seven aircraft carriers versus zero, two battle cruisers versus five, 66 cruisers versus six, 100 destroyers versus 17, 67 submarines versus 57, and a merchant fleet five times larger. Point one September 1939. In response to the German invasion of Poland and the prospect of war with Germany, plans for the evacuation of children and nursing and expectant mothers from London and other areas deemed vulnerable to German air attack are put into action. The blackout begins. The British Army is officially mobilised. 2 September 1939 Under intense criticism from the House, Neville Chamberlain abandons an offer to negotiate peace terms between Germany and Poland and agrees to present an ultimatum to Hitler. 3 September 1939 Shortly after 11 o'clock Chamberlain announces to the nation that his ultimatum has expired and that Britain is at war with Germany. Twenty minutes later the first air raid sirens are sounded in London. They are a false alarm. Chamberlain reforms his government, creating a small war cabinet which includes Winston Churchill as First Lord of the Admiralty. The National Service Armed Forces Act is passed. All men aged 18 to 41 are now potentially liable for conscription. The 7th of September 1939. The National Registration Act is passed, introducing identity cards. 23 September 1939. Petrol rationing introduced. 27 September 1939. The first war tax is revealed by the cabinet, including a significant increase in income taxes. 1 October 1939. Call up proclamation: All men aged 20 to 21 who have not already done so must apply for registration with the military authorities. 6 October 1939. With the end of formal Polish resistance, the phony war begins. It lasts until April 1940. There was little military action, although the Allies Britain and France began economic warfare, and shut down the German surface raiders. They created elaborate plans for numerous large-scale operations designed to swiftly and decisively cripple the German war effort. These included opening a French-British front in the Balkans, invading Norway to seize control of the Germany's main source of iron ore, and a strike against the Soviet Union, to cut off its supply of oil to Germany. Only the Norway plan came to fruition, and it was too little too late in April 1940. November 1939 London schools start to reopen because of evacuee children returning to the capital. 1940 January 1940 35% of London schoolchildren had returned from evacuation. 8 January 1940 First food rationing introduced, May to June 1940 Further evacuation of 160,000 children from London and relocation of children who had been settled near vulnerable coastal areas. 
Winston Churchill gives a series of famous speeches in Parliament, "'Blood, Toil, Tears, and Sweat. We shall fight on the beaches. And. This was their finest hour." The 7th of May 1940. The debate on the recent debacle in Norway leads on the 10th of May to Chamberlain's resignation. Point one zero May 1940. Germany invades France and the Low Countries, ending the phony war. Winston Churchill becomes prime minister and forms an all-party coalition government. Point one two May 1940. Internment of all German or Austrian males aged between 16 and 60 begins, starting with those living nearest to the south and east coasts. The 14th of May 1940. In a BBC radio broadcast, Anthony Eden calls for the creation of the Local Defence Volunteers (LDV) militia, renamed on the 23rd of July the Home Guard. Point two two May 1940. The Emergency Powers Defense Act 1940 is passed, granting the government even more authority to control persons and property for the duration of the war. 10 June 1940 Italy declares war on Britain. Italian men aged 17 to 60 are arrested and interned. Large mobs attack Italian businesses and families in London, Liverpool, Belfast, Cardiff, Edinburgh, and Glasgow. 19 to 28 June 1940 25,000 Channel Island refugees arrive in England 30 June 1940. German occupation of the Channel Islands begins July 1940. A further 60,000 schoolchildren evacuated from London and the home counties in the following 12 months. 3 July 1940. Cardiff is bombed for the first time. 6 July 1940. Plymouth is bombed for the first time. 9 July 1940. Official start date of the Battle of Britain. 10 July 1940. Introduction of Defence Regulation 58AA allowing the Minister of Labour to ban strike action and force compulsory arbitration. No strikes are called by any trade union during the war. There are unofficial short local strikes in coal, shipbuilding, and machinery. 21 July 1940. SS Anselm leaves Liverpool for Halifax, Nova Scotia with the first group of 82 children being evacuated under the Children's Overseas Reception Board Corp. scheme. 25 August 1940 First major air raid on central Birmingham 28 August 1940 First major air raid on Liverpool August-October 1940 The German Blitz hits London and other major cities causing death and damage. Official histories concluded that the mental health of a nation may have improved, while panic was a rare. Pre-war dire predictions of mass air raid neurosis were not borne out. Predictions had underestimated the adaptability and resourcefulness, in addition there were many new civil defense roles that gave a sense of fighting back rather than despair. The highly visible dangerous role gave firemen some of the ideal attributes more commonly associated with the venerated image of the military hero. 7 September 1940 German bombing raid on South London, formal beginning of London The Blitz. 18 September 1940 SS City of Benares bound for Canada is torpedoed and sunk in the Atlantic. 77 of the 90 evacuee children on board died, resulting in the abandonment of the Corb evacuation scheme. 31 October 1940 Official end date of the Battle of Britain 14 November 1940 Massive German bombing raid on Coventry. 24 November 1940. First major air raid on Bristol. Topic 1941. The 21st of January 1941. The Communist Daily Worker newspaper is banned. It had ignored a July 1940 warning that its pacifist line contravened Defense Regulation 2D, which made it an offense to systematically to publish matter calculated to foment opposition to the prosecution of the war. When Germany invaded Russia in June 1941, the British Communists became fervent supporters of the war and the ban was lifted. 13 and 14 March 1941 Major air raids destroy most of Clydebank. 10 May 1941 Last major attack on London of the 1940-41 Blitz. 1 June 1941 Civilian clothing is rationed for the first time. 18 December 1941 The National Service Act is passed. 
All men and women aged 18 to 60 are now liable to some form of national service, including military service for those under 51. The first military registration of 18.5-year-olds takes place. The schedule of reserved occupations is abandoned, from now on only individual deferments from the draft will be accepted. 1942. The 23rd of January 1942 First US Army troops arrive in the UK disembarking at Belfast the officers were the advanced party of a force intended to defend Northern Ireland and release British troops for service overseas 5 March 1942 The Daily Mirror publishes a controversial cartoon by Philip Zeck which Churchill and other senior government figures alleged was damaging to public morale Zeck is investigated by MI5 and the government seriously proposes banning the newspaper until parliamentary opposition forces a retreat. 23 April 1942 Beginning of so-called Baedeker Blitz on English provincial towns, mainly chosen for their historic and cultural significance, Exeter, Bath, Canterbury, Lincoln and York along with several coastal towns were targeted. Attacks continue sporadically until 6 June. 1 July 1942 the basic civilian petrol ration was abolished, making fuel unavailable to private car owners. 15 November 1942 Church bells were rung all over the United Kingdom for the first time since May 1940, in celebration of victory at the Second Battle of El Alamein. 1 December 1942 Sir William Beveridge's report on social insurance and allied services published, the Ministry of Labour reports that 1942 strikes cost 1,527,000 working days, as compared with 1,079,000 in 1941. 1943 The 18th of February 1943 the House of Commons votes, 335 to 119, against a Labour amendment demanding the creation of a social security ministry and immediate implementation of the Beveridge Report. The government has approved the plan, in principle, but called for a delay until the war is over. 19 February 1943 The Labour Party National Executive Committee rejects the Communist Party's application for affiliation, saying it must carry out decisions of the Comintern in Moscow, that it has shown complete irresponsibility in British politics", and because, "...its general outlook is entirely out of harmony with the philosophy and objectives of the Labour Party." 7 April 1943 The government releases a white paper by John Maynard Keynes, announcing its post-war currency stabilisation plan designed to provide an international banking system. 12 April 1943 the Chancellor of the Exchequer presents a budget of £5.8 billion with 56% to be raised from current revenue, the deficit would be £2.8 billion of which £2.20 will be borrowed at home. 0 29 July 1943 Labour Minister Ernest Bevan announces that women from 19 to 50 will be called for work in plane and munitions plants. Men eligible for military service may choose work in coal mines. 23 September 1943 the Ministry of Health reports that 1942 births totaled 654,039 versus 480,137 in 1941, deaths 66,811 versus 55,043. Infant mortality was 49 per 1,000, the lowest on record for Britain. The 14th of December 1943. The first of first of 33 fortnightly ballot draws for the compulsory recruitment of men for coal mining, who would otherwise have been conscripted into the armed forces. These recruits would become known as Bevin Boys. 0 .20 December 1943 Villages in the South Hams area of Devon were compulsorily evacuated to create a training area for the planned D-Day landings. Also evacuated were the villages of Imber in Wiltshire and Tynham in Dorset. The inhabitants of the last two have never been allowed to return. 1944 The 21st of January 1944 Start of Operation Steinbach or the Baby Blitz 
a Luftwaffe night bombing campaign against southern England, which continued until May 1944.10 March 1944. R.A. Butler's Education Act passed, reorganising Britain's school system under the tripartite system. 12 June 1944 First V-1 flying bomb attack on London. July to September 1944 Final wave of evacuation codenamed Rivulet of children from London to the English Midlands and West Country. 8 September 1944 First V-2 rocket attack on London. 17 September 1944. The blackout is replaced by a partial dim out. 22 September 1944. Ernest Bevan announces the government's plan for eventual military demobilization. 3 December 1944. The Home Guard is stood down. Topic 1945. The 1st of February 1945 Part-time members of the National Fire Service are stood down. 27 March 1945 Last V2 attack on London. 29 March 1945 Last V1 flying bomb attack on London. 2 May 1945 Civil Defence Service is stood down. The 8th of May 1945 Vey Day. 9 May 1945 Liberation of the German occupied Channel Islands takes place the 23rd of May 1945. The Labour Party members of the coalition government resign in order to prepare for the upcoming general election. Churchill appoints a largely conservative caretaker government. 16 June 1945. The Family Allowances Act passed. Mothers will receive a tax-free cash payment for each child in their care. This is the first time in Britain that a state payment has gone directly to a wife rather than her husband. 18 June 1945. Demobilization of the armed forces begins. The 5th of July 1945. General election voting takes place in the UK. The ballots are then sealed for three weeks to allow the collection and counting of overseas service votes. 26 July 1945. The Labour Party wins the general election with a historic landslide. Clement Attlee becomes Prime Minister and forms a new government. 15 August 1945 VJ Day See also Mass observation Notes and references Topic. Further reading Addison, Paul. The Impact of the Second World War. In Paul Addison and Harriet Jones, eds. A Companion to Contemporary Britain, 1939-2000 pp 3-22. Addison, Paul. The Road to 1945, British Politics and the Second World War 1975, 2nd ed., 2011. Addison, Paul. Churchill on the Home Front, 1900–1955 ch. 10–11. Calder, Angus. The People's War, Britain 1939–45 highly influential survey field, Geoffrey G. 2011, Blood, Sweat, and Toil, Remaking the British Working Class, 1939–1945 doi, 10.1093, ACPRIF, OSO, 9780199604000, Online Gardener, Juliet, 2004 Wartime, Britain 1939-1945-782 pp. Comprehensive Social History Hancock, W. K. and M. M. Going. British War Economy 1949, Part of the Official History of World War II Online Hayes, Nick, and Jeff Hill, Millions Like Us, British Culture in the Second World War 1999, Jones, Helen 2006. British Civilians in the Front Line, Air Raids, Productivity and Wartime Culture, 1939-45. Manchester University Press. ISBN 978-0-7190-7290-1. Levine, Joshua. The Secret History of the Blitz, 2015. Marwick, Arthur. The Home Front, The British and the Second World War, 1976. 
Reynolds, David J. Britain, The Two World Wars, and the Problem of Narrative Historical Journal, 60 No. 1, 197-231, https colon slash slash doi dot org slash 10 dot 1017 slash s0018246 x 1600509 a historiography short, Brian. The Battle of the Fields, Rural Community and Authority in Britain during the Second World War, 2014. Taylor, Matthew. Sport and Civilian Morale in Second World War Britain, Journal of Contemporary History 2016, online Todman, David. Britain's War, 1937-1941 Volume 1, Oxford UP, 2016, 828 pp, Comprehensive Coverage of Home Front, Military, and Diplomatic Developments, excerpt Zweiniger Bargilovska, Ina. Austerity in Britain, Rationing, Controls and Consumption, 1939-1955-2000-286p. Online.